Ah, we do, folks. Your bull marks one to zero five numbers after the name. A little cuphead action right over here, man. I had some issues with this guy, and, and I mean, it may have gotten personal. I'm not gonna lie. I had some issues with this dude. Uh, this guy is tough. Now, eventually, you'll figure out his pattern, and it becomes kind of easier, but not like it a crazy about easy. As you can see, that I'm still kind of like messing it up a little bit. Uh, the main difficulty I had with this dude, and it's it's a reality, like it's it's just a fact of like how hard this guy can be, is that like the the timing and like the pacing of everything, and I, I mean these beginning parts are pretty hard. So that first part, you you kind of have to like hurry away and make sure that your card isn't being moved into him which seems kind of easy sometimes be a little pain in the ass depending on how he's shooting those little eyeballs and stuff this second part i found easiest like at first i would kind of try to hit him with like the big shots the blue one stuff like that but i just found easy with the green leaf thing because i could kind of stand around over here and make sure that that like jack jack lantern thing that that pumpkin thing didn't really completely move my stuff and it maybe takes a little bit longer and stuff, but I kind of put in work when I can, and that's it. So I, I, I mainly turned into, let's do this as safely as possible strat over here. Uh, the third part about to this dude over here, this part's pretty hard over here. Because you have to kind of line up on like this one side, the opposite of where he's attacking and kind of keep moving. But it's just not that easy to like kind of keep moving. So I pop him over there, like the one on top. Yeah, I got kind of lucky that he was directing that that one wasn't the one that attacked me. So it allowed me to kind of play off of this guy and be like, all right, hold up. Like, so as long as I don't like let these little ghost thingies move my thing, I could pretty much be safe on this side. And to me, that's a very smart way of playing it. But good luck. Cause some, like I could have just had the, 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 the RNG show up with the dude attacking me on top. That would have gotten popped maybe twice right there, and that would have been it. So I'm going to full health over here to what seems to be kind of the last part. I'll never forget, it took me so long to get through those first three parts. When I saw there was like another part, I was like, come on, man. Like, what are we doing over here? And this part, like, really threw me off because I really didn't have any idea. So you have to kind of parry that back part for him to open his heart over here. And you have to keep shooting his heart. You can notice I, like, fell off over there. And I'm getting hit by stuff. He shoots, like, fire out of there, which is just a pain. Like, there really is no, like, way to describe it. I accidentally used my super here, which I had really no intention to. Once again, the green leaf to me saved me throughout like most of this stuff because I, I just can't follow. I imagine, I don't even know, but I guess you could probably parry your thing to move it forward and stuff. I prefer to keep it, as you see, at the back of the damn map to at least limit where it was. Because for many times I had it in the front, I felt like I was getting rocked. Or I had it in the middle and I felt like I was getting rocked. But in the back, I felt like the safest to kind of have it over there. Green leaf it up, practice a lot, play that you get like a nice RNG moment like I did in this game, which was honestly like played very nicely. And then in two minutes, 32 seconds, you can probably beat him. Straight up. The ball Markles, man. This game's hard.